Um, it's a huge disappointment, um, a really big disappointment. I, I'm, I'm, uh, um, I have um, uh, been very optimistic about what Shell would, would find. Uh, I've been openly optimistic about it, and, um, uh, and I believe Shell was very optimistic about, about what they were going to find. I think there, you know, it does raise concern as far as if, if uh, cause there's been a lot of hope, even though there really wasn't revenue, as much revenue from the oil tied to it, there was usually the drilling activity that we were interested in. So I think it is a setback as far as the, the uh, uh, Alaskans are going to be, you know, disappointed that um, that was not successful and that, and also that we were limited in some way, not being able to drill uh, multiple wells um, uh, at the same time at the same cost. So I think it definitely impacts con consumer confidence, you bet. Well, I think in the short term, the biggest impact is the loss of jobs and investment. Um, at any given day um, during the project this summer, they'd have six to eight hundred workers, and another six to eight hundred workers waiting to uh, shift in and out. So, on a two to three week rotation. So, I think in the short term, it's loss of jobs, it's loss of investment. Not only the seven billion dollars that they've spent to date. I think the summer's program was over a billion dollars alone. I think for those that see this as a victory is short-sighted because they are focused on stopping all development. They don't care, they just don't want to see any oil and gas development. But the question remains then, where is that energy going to come from? Sure, it's fantastic news for the Arctic. It removes a major threat to the wildlife uh, in the area which are already suffering from climate change happening at twice the rate uh, of the rest of the world.